Hi, it's Carrie. In today's 5 Minute Friday, I'm going to show you how you can add a human filter to the end of your systematic or otherwise comprehensive search without relying on medical subject heading indexing as so many people are tempted to do. I did a video on this last Friday. I made a mistake in the search itself, so not in the filter, but in the search. So today, my plan is to show you how my filters work, and I will do it with a better search this time. I probably will leave that video up and just put a note in the video description. This is version two. So here we are in PubMed, and the mistake I made last time was to only use a medical subject heading term, which was a silly idea because I was trying to not rely on medical subject heading indexing. However, I make a video a week. Sometimes I'm in a hurry, so bear with me. Here's a search I've already created. It's the mesh term for traumatic brain injuries and some keyword terms for traumatic brain injury marked with TW, which is a field tag for text word. And then there's a concept for sleep. And there's a medical subject heading for sleep and a keyword for sleep. So I'm going to copy this and paste it into my search box here. Now, as I mentioned last week, what I see people do, which is not generally okay for systematic reviews, is come down here, go to additional filters. I already have it showing, but I just want to show you where to find it. Go to species select humans, and then say, yes, that's what we wanted to see. We wanted to see humans. Note our number of results is now 1,111. Let's clear that filter. That's the equivalent of going to the end of your search and saying, and humans mesh. So basically, we've just missed a broad swath of literature that hasn't been indexed yet, that might never be indexed, that might still be relevant. And so this is not a good way to limit to humans. Instead, what we want to do is add the last line of the Cochrane Highly Sensitive Search Strategy for the identification of randomized trials in Medline without using the randomized trials part. And that looks like this. We'll delete the humans part. Let's just get back to our main search, which was 1,375. Now, you can do it two ways. I learned a different way. And now the filter looks like this. You can say not parenthesis animals mesh not humans. So we're saying let's have our search not when it's indexed with animals, but if it's indexed with humans or humans and animals, or if it's not indexed at all, we'd still like to see it. We'll click search, and we get 1,323 results. Another way you can do it, and this is what I showed in my original video, was to say, not animals, not animals, mesh, and humans, which is essentially the same thing. Add an extra parenthesis there. So we're saying our search, not when it's indexed with animals, but if it's humans that it's indexed with, or humans and animals, or if it's not indexed, then yes, we still want to see it. Let's click search. We should get the same number of results. And in fact, we did. Let me show you in advanced. We did our original search, which was here, number one. I don't know why it's out of order. Brain injuries and sleep. We got 1,375 results. Then I limited it to humans with the human filter, 1,111 results. Then I said, well, it's essentially the same thing as doing this. Our search and humans as the medical subject heading. 111 results. But when we use the last part of the Cochrane Highly Sensitive Search Strategy, either way, in this format or in the slightly more complicated, this format, which is double knots to say exclude animals, but not when humans is involved, or if there is not indexing, we'd still like to see it, we get 1,323 results. Now what's the difference and what would we have missed if we tried to limit to humans? So we will take our human search that we did correctly 
and add query. We will take the human filter that we're doing what I would say incorrectly and add with not and we will see the difference on what we would have missed. Here we have results and these are either not indexed or they're indexed with humans. Let's look at one. We'll go to number eight and if we look at the abstract we see that in fact the participants were human. If we scroll down to see if there's medical subject headings involved, there are not. This has not been assigned medical subject headings. And if we look for the word humans, we don't see it except in our search. Just check. Nope, we do not see it. Let's look at one more. Whoops, I'll just look at this one. Number 10. Let me look for the word humans. We do not see it here. There is no medical subject heading indexing but it is clearly still a human study. So that's the right way to limit to humans if you're doing a systematic review because we don't want to miss things that might be relevant. The goal is to find all available evidence. If we use just the humans filter, we're missing evidence and we're missing it in a way that we don't have to because if we know how to do this right, we can do the right kind of filter. I'll put both filters in the video description below, both of the not animals, not humans, or not animals, not animals, and humans, and you can try them out for yourself. If you're looking for human studies, good luck. Work with a librarian. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.